Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be having another DIY video. Um, we'll be working on Logan's white body BRZ today. And one of the most watched videos on my YouTube channel is my DIY site splitter install for 20 bucks. So that video has over 100,000 views now. A lot of you guys like it. And basically what we're trying to do is redo this site splitter. I have it done on my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT. Had it for over a year still really good you know through rain road trips all that good stuff side splitter has been staying pretty good so yeah we're gonna be doing the same thing with Logan's BRZ uh, it does have the wide body rally backer kit on it so the might be a little different but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and measure how long it is and then we'll be going to the local Lowe's right here or Home Depot pick up some parts and take you guys along we're gonna go ahead and measure it first. So we're gonna see how long the length that we need. So it's about two hours a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. So that is about 75. Guys, okay, so I just made it here to Lowe's. I'm gonna go pick up some materials to build it. So I believe it's somewhere around one of these sections. I don't quite remember, but I'll show you guys when I find the perfect aisle. All right, so we got to the section where it says flooring. So basically you could use any of these. Um, I'm not too sure what they're called, but they're pretty cheap. These little, they're kind of wood, but well, like I said, I've had it for over a year in the rain and, you know, the wood didn't disintegrate, but yeah. So these are under the flooring section. And that's what I used. As you can see, these are the prices on each of them. I think, I believe I used something like that, about seven bucks per, per site. So that's about 14, 15 bucks. Um, and then I had a grinder, so I just cut it to the length that I need it and pretty much wrapped it and installed the self-tapping screws so for logan's wide body brc is a little more i guess complicated because he has the wide body in the rears so the rears are really wide so yeah we're still trying to figure out if we're trying to use a different material or what we should do so again wide body car and every car is a little different so all right so as you guys can tell i'm back at the house um that was quite a fail so as you guys could tell, white, uh, Logan's white body BRZ was much wider and his side splitter would have to be much wider. The material we used was not wide enough. So it would fit just fine for my car, like you guys saw. Um, but what he might do is just get some ABS plastic or some aluminium, get it cut uh, to have you know a little wider um, splitter. So in other news, I decided not to end the video short. So let me just add in other car stuff. Um, some of you guys might know, got new wheels. So my Vogue Racing C28 wheels are for sale. Um, I'm not sure if they'll still be up for sale by the time this video is out, but if they are, you can hit me up on my Instagram at JUS underscore TYN. I'll link them right here. Hit me up, see if they're still for sale. I am in Austin, Texas. So if you guys are in the central Texas area, you want to buy them, let me know. Shoot me a DM. Um, and if you guys haven't already seen, I am so in love with my new wheels. So I picked up these wheels a little while back and these are my absolute dream wheels. For those of you guys who don't know what these wheels are, these are the Vogue Racing TE37s. Um, this is a double press black, really beautiful color. So I decided to add a little more stuff to my wheels, customize it a little bit. So the first thing I went ahead and bought and this took quite a while was some original uh, valve caps from race i know you guys might be thinking it's pretty lame but the valve caps just go on here and yeah original race valve caps and i'm also waiting for my stickers so a lot of you guys might know t37s have that you know sticker that comes on one spoke um a lot of people go with red but i decided to go with a different color so it's taking a long time to be shipped since it's the you know original race stuff um, but yeah, whenever it gets here, I'll be sure to do an install video on the sticker because a lot of people apparently 
put the sticker on the wrong spoke so I'm not trying to make that mistake with my wheels um, but yeah slowly but surely the car is coming along in some older videos I also went ahead and redid this tint it used to be a yellow to match the gold theme on my car right now I'm trying to go for a more blacked out theme so all that gold trimming is gone from the front and the sides um, but yeah stay tuned more mods will be coming to this car pretty soon I'm just waiting on parts and you know parts aren't cheap so slowly but surely this car is going to be slowly more complete um, yeah so I guess what I'll try to do is I'll try to find some of the plans I might head to the camera store since my day ended a little earlier than expected um, I'll be heading to the camera store check out some other cameras I currently use the Nikon D5300 um, and it, it does a pretty good job you know but it's a DSLR it's pretty heavy so I'm gonna head to precision camera which is pretty close by uh, there's two cameras I kind of want to check out they're mirrorless cameras so one is the Canon uh, G7X Mark II it's really light portable camera good for vlogging and then the other camera I want to check out is the uh, I think it's the Panasonic Lumix uh, G85 so let me go head to the camera store and take you guys along right so I'll be heading to precision camera now thankfully I didn't live too far away uh, I'll be taking my daily my EK Civic out today and man it is so hot summer in Texas is no joke it's 100 degrees out here today uh, well 100 degrees Fahrenheit so that translates to let's see in degrees Celsius for those of my friends who use Celsius things like 40 degrees Celsius it's pretty damn hot so Got in the car, set it up for you guys. Alright, so just go here to position camera. Focus. Okay, yeah. Focus pretty quick. It's not noisy. I can hear the sensor moving or anything like that. Perfect. You already got a long option. Sure. So what you do for the longer portion, that'll do great. You can tap in. The lens that's in the box. Can I operate this camera? You could do manual focus too. A lot of people use manual focus on videos. Yeah. way you have more control. So like for cinematic videos, I like to do manual, but whenever I vlog something it's kind of hard to know. Yeah, yeah. I would just go with the face of what we did there. Face of what we did there. This lens is 2.4 has been the standard for a while. But the camera bodies are virtually like this. And your hands are that much. The camera bodies are Focusing. Yeah. All right, as some of you guys might saw, I checked out two cameras. So the Canon G7X Mark II, as well as the Panasonic uh, Lumix GX85. The guy here at Precision Camera was pushing me more towards the Panasonic. He says it's really good. Personally, I have more friends who use um, Nikon, Canon, and Sony. So I don't know whether I should take that leap into that uh, brand, Panasonic. He says it's really good. Uh, I tried it out. Shoots 4K video, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and line up again. See how much my Nikon D5300 camera is worth. And see if I can use that money towards new camera. So we'll see. Alright, such a bummer. So I just left Precision Camera over there. And I was hoping to trade in my camera to get, you know, the new camera. But unfortunately, when I went to the trading section, they told me that it was really low. The value I thought would be about 300 bucks, but since it's at a shop, the trading value was only $90, so that's way lower than I expected. So I'm just gonna haul off on the new camera for now. This camera works perfectly fine. The only thing I don't like too much is I prefer that wide angle look, um, as well as, you know, when it's at night, when I vlog, I want, you know, my, I guess, my 
quality of the video to turn out a little better. It's just a little grainy at night just because of the, the lens I'm using. Uh, with Nikon wide angle lenses, they are low f-stop, they're really heavy and they're expensive, that's why. But just heading back to my car, um, on the way back, I spotted this new Tesla Model 3. I haven't seen one of these in person too often, so... One of my friend Tiffany actually purchased the Tesla Model 3. She hasn't got it yet, but whenever she gets it, we'll review it. So for those of you guys who don't know, Tesla Model 3 is actually uh, a more affordable Tesla. So it's, you know, obviously electric car, uh, more affordable for the masses. The Tesla Model S runs from like $90,000 and up. And then the Model, I, I believe, M, the SUV, they run, sorry, Model X, they run more expensive, like 130 grand and up. So the Model 3 is a more affordable model uh, for the masses. So that's pretty cool to see in person. All right guys, so I'm back at home. I was editing my video and I realized that I didn't actually end the video. Um, I also realized that the previous footage, for some reason, the aspect ratio was just kind of off. Um, the clip just looked weird. I guess the settings was just a little messed up or something. But anyway, before I end the video, I just want to let you guys know that there'll be a bunch more dope content coming to the channel. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, I upload videos really often um always take videos of my friends cars you know the build progress of their cars as well as my cars so my 2015 mitsubishi lance gt as well as my 99 honda civic um so if you guys want to stay tuned to that be sure to hit the subscribe button uh you can follow me on my social media pages at jus underscore tyn as well as at the j media i'm always at car shows and car meets as well so I'll always be sure to bring my camera out to catch a bunch of dope footage for you guys so leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.